Tonight, we celebrate the class of 2020. For a class that has won one of the most unique and successful classes, both on and off the field during your high school career, it seemed appropriate that you're being recognized in the most unique way yet, and hopefully just as successful. Generally, we get together during the final week of your Abington High School career to recognize and celebrate your athletic careers. As we are all aware, this spring has been anything but normal. I hope this extra time has afforded you an opportunity to reflect back on your careers here at Abington High School and how your participation in athletics has helped prepare you for whatever you might face in the future. I know through my own reflections on the class of 2020, I have realized how much I have learned from each of you. I have found myself being much more pessimistic the last few months, and for someone who considers themselves to be generally an optimistic person by nature, I tried to figure out why. It became obvious. It's because I have not been surrounded by you, the students. You give us all cause for hope and a better future. You are a group that understands everything is not political and there is value and truth in listening, in caring, and a willingness to change your mind. You realize that being accountable to yourself and each other makes you better. You do not have to be perfect. It is okay to fail. It is these lessons I take from you and hope you carry with you to whatever you do. The one thing that stands out most to me about your class is how you, you embraced challenge. You recognized hard things are supposed to be hard and you relished the opportunity to complete these hard things. But along the way, you made sure not to take yourself or the challenge too seriously and have fun as you went. Serious matters require seriousness in our approach, but we must always remember to take ourselves, to not take ourselves too seriously. I hope that is something that you carry with you in all of your future endeavors. Tonight, we look to celebrate and recognize the role athletics has played in shaping you, as well as your individual accomplishments. I hope that you recognize that in sports, as teammates, we are often blinded by the fact that we learn to respect and learn from one another. We don't judge each other on our personal differences. We know that helping each other leads to success. Imagine what the world would look like if we all strive to be good teammates to each other. Take these lessons out into the world. Continue to build on them. And as a society, we can be better than the moment that we face. Being better than the moment is something that the class of 2020 did consistently, including four times at the highest level. Here's a look back at the four state championships and the athletic legacy that you built, put together by athletic department interns, Lauren Kelleher, Carrie Ann Danahy, and Samantha Johnson. And bad mistakes. Boom, 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 boom,
that spaceship when, when I step inside whoa, whoa. Get out the way, get out the way This year's recipient is Gabe Spry. You ready? Let's go. Gabe Spry played football, lacrosse, and basketball during his four years at Abington High School. Gabe was an all-scholastic and captain in lacrosse and football. He was named as the Player of the Year in the Social League Tobin Division for football and the Enterprise Defensive Player of the Year. Gabe is a two-time state champion during his senior year who exhibited hard work and a commitment to personal improvement throughout his career. Hi. I'm Jeff Kent, former Abington High School English teacher, coach, and athletic director. Since I retired from Abington in 2006, I've been honored to have the Sportsmanship Award presented annually in my name. Each year, it's presented to a student athlete in recognition of his or her quality of character, outstanding academic performance, and conduct on the playing field that exemplifies fairness, respect for one's opponent, and humility and grace in both victory and defeat. This 2020 Jeff Kent Sportsmanship Award is presented to Cam Kearney. Congratulations, Cam. See, he just wanted a jump shot. 
Cam Kearney was a key member and captain of the cross-country basketball and frisbee teams throughout his four years at Abington High School. His teams routinely won the Sportsmanship and Spirit Awards under his leadership. In addition to his athletic accomplishments, which included two state championships and an EMAS championship, Cam was also at the top of his academic class and served as the editor of the Abington High School newspaper. Cam was also recognized by the Boston Globe as their 2020 District C Scholar Athlete of the Year. The John B. Riley Award is presented every year to an Abington High School athlete who exemplifies good sportsmanship and green wave pride throughout their athletic career. John B. Riley was a teacher at Abington High School, a coach at Abington High, he was the director of the Abington Park and Recreation Program and also served as the athletic director at Abington High. He was also my dad. We're very proud this year to present the award to an athlete who exhibits a great work ethic, a positive attitude, a lot of charisma demonstrates sportsmanship and truly represents her team, her town, and her community in a very, very positive way at all times. On behalf of my family and the entire extended Abbey High School community, we are very proud this year to present the John B. Riley Award to Carrie Ann Danahy. Carrie Ann was a founding member and captain of the girls volleyball team, was a captain of the tennis team, and she served as the vice president of the Student Athlete Advisory Council. She helped organize and carry out the blackout cancer activities at Abington High, took part in the Annie's Kindness Blanket Night, and volunteered her efforts for numerous other events. Carrie Ann exemplifies the characteristics of a student athlete to be admired here at Abington High School. Our next award is the Abington High School Male Athletic Trophy, awarded to the most outstanding male athlete at Abington High School. The Class of 2020 Abington High School Male Athletic Trophy winner is Will Klein. Will Klein served as captain of the Green Wave football and basketball teams, both of which won a state championship during his senior season. He shares the all-time single season touchdown record and the career touchdown scoring record at Abington High School. Will was named the Enterprise Football Offensive Player of the Year and the Boston Herald Football Player of the Year. He was a multiple season All-Scholastic for football and basketball, and in his final four seasons of high school sports, Will Klein's teams were a self-sectional finalist, an Eastern Mass champion, and were crowned twice as Massachusetts State Champions. Class of 2020 certainly has some of the strongest male and female athletes in recent memory. To join Will, I am now excited to present the Class of 2020 Female Athletic Trophy for the most outstanding female athlete at Abington High School to Lauren Kelleher. Lauren Kelleher was the ultimate competitor on the playing field and in the classroom. She served as the captain of the basketball and softball teams as well as the president of the Student Athlete Advisory Council. In basketball, Lauren Kelleher was also an Enterprise All-Scholastic. In softball, she was a two-time South Shore League Player of the Year and a member of the 2018 State Champion Softball Team. She was also awarded All-Scholastic honors by the Boston Globe, the Boston Herald, and the Enterprise. And in 2019, she was named as the Brockton Enterprise Female Athlete of the Year. What is an award show without a list of top moments? Well, we are no different here. Take a look at 20 moments that define the class of 2020. Here they are in no particular order. I'm a 
making noise in the streets. Haymakers like a fire, throwing hooks to a beat. I got my finger on my pulse, it's steady. I was built for the speed. Automatic shift gears, I'm ready. Headstrong, I believe. Hey everybody, it's Steve McGuire. Hope you're all doing well. I'd first like to congratulate all of you on a very successful career at Abington High School. It's been a pleasure to watch all of you compete over the past four years. Now on behalf of the Abington Greenway Boosters, I am here to announce this year's recipients of the Bob McGuire Memorial Scholarship. These two were chosen due to their continued commitment to volunteerism, specifically with the Boosters, in addition to their commitment to their classmates, their school, and the community as a whole. So I'm honored to announce this year's recipients are Ailey Riddick and Will Klein. Congratulations to both of you guys. And best of luck to the class of 2020 and whatever the future may hold. And the bass keeps running, running, and 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 in this context. Ailey Riddick and Will Klein displayed the values representative of Bob McGuire. Will and Ailey were hardworking individuals who valued their family, friends, and teammates. They loved to compete and always demonstrated appreciation for those who helped them achieve their success. Additionally, both Ailey and Will gave back to the community by consistently volunteering with the Green Wave Boosters as well as many other civic organizations, and by taking the time to be mentors and role models to younger student athletes. Hi, my name is Lauren Kelleher. I'm the president of SAC. Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Danny, vice president of SAC. The better one. That's not true. Um, however, every year the Student Athletic Advisory Council selects two student athletes to receive the Ultimate Teammate Award. This award is given to two athletes who represent what it means to be a great teammate and um, doesn't usually get the recognition they deserve. The female athlete to receive this award is Megan McCadden. Megan was a member of the volleyball team and a captain of the girls basketball team. Throughout her four years, she came to practice every day and worked hard. Despite her playing time, she never complained. Not only was she a great athlete, but an even better person. She never failed to put a smile on someone's face. She may have been a quiet leader, but led by example through her hard work and dedication. Meg always put the team first. I wish Meg the best of luck next year at Suffolk and know she's going to kill it. Love you so much, Meg, and congratulations. The male 
first student athlete to receive this award is Drew Wilson. He was a member of the soccer and ultimate frisbee teams and a captain of the hockey team. Drew was a quiet leader, but someone you could always rely on. He always put in the time and effort to excel at everything he did. During his time at Abington, he won a state championship with the ultimate frisbee team and helped bring the hockey team back to town. Drew will certainly be missed as he is going off to Wheaton College to take on a new chapter in his life. Congratulations, Drew. What a great tradition by the Student Athlete Advisory Council to recognize their peers. I know this year in particular there were a number of individuals who could have earned that award. Now we transition to the final section of our award show. This final set of awards are selected by me with the advice of our Abington High School coaching staff in an effort to recognize the accomplishments of the members of the class of 2020. I am honored to be able to announce the recipient of this year's Unified Sports Award. This year, the award is given to Gretchen Ronsky. Gretchen was a key member of the Unified Soccer and Basketball teams, as well as the Varsity Girls Track Team. During her Abington High career, she also served as manager for the Soccer and Basketball teams. Gretchen brings great joy and excitement to everything she does, and her positive, fun-loving attitude is infectious and admired by her peers. To be a true student athlete at Abington High School requires time management, self-motivation, responsibility, sacrifice, and above all, a commitment to hard work. To recognize the importance of achievement in the athletic arena and the classroom, we present the Excellence in Academics and Athletics Awards. This year, the Excellence in Academics and Athletics Award is presented to Colby Augusta. Colby Augusta served as captain of the football, basketball, and baseball teams. In his junior and senior years, he and his teammates were crowned as two-time South Sectional finalists, as Eastern Mass champions, and as two-time state champions. Colby was an enterprise all-scholastic and was recognized as a South Shore League all-star. In addition to his individual and team athletic successes, Colby was consistently at the top of his academic class and an exemplary student throughout his four years at Abington High School. I'm Matt Campbell, head coach of Abington High School's cross country teams and head coach of the girls indoor and outdoor track teams. I am honored to present the class of 2020's Excellence in Athletic Media Production Award. This award is given to the student athlete who has advanced the pillars of both the athletic department and their fellow classmates through exemplary media production. The winner of the 2020 Excellence in Athletic Media Production Award is Ariel Amboy. Congratulations, Ariel. Ariel Amboy participated in cross country, basketball, volleyball, and indoor and outdoor track during her very successful athletic career. She was always willing to utilize her artistic talents to her teams and the athletic department. Ariel has produced multiple videos for her teams, the athletic department, and the school, all with extremely high quality. She always lent her talents to help promote the mission of the Abington High School Athletic Department and to celebrate the accomplishments of her classmates. Ariel's talents, empathy, and generosity were admired and applauded by the students and staff of Abington High School. Green Wave Pride, something that many of us say regularly and is the foundation of our athletic program. Green Wave Pride is the personification of the pillars of our athletic department. Service, teamwork, toughness, character, and pride. Each year we recognize individuals 
who remain dedicated to their team and persevere through adversity to find success for themselves and others. The first Green Wave Pride Award is presented to Corin Mahan. Corin Mahan was the captain of the volleyball, basketball, and softball teams her senior year. She was a Social League All-Star in all three sports and an Enterprise All-Scholastic. Her leadership and commitment to her teammates made all three teams a success. Corin helped build a volleyball team from a club her freshman year to a tournament team by her senior year. She was named and recognized as a Boston Herald All-Scholastic in softball and was crowned as the Social League Tobin Division Player of the Year for softball. Corin was also a member of the 2018 State Championship softball team. Hey everyone, Mike Casely here, head coach of the boys' soccer and track and field teams here at Abington High School. I'm excited to be presenting one of this year's Greenway Pride Awards. And, uh, this award goes to an individual who has had both an outstanding career on and off the field here at AHS. This year's winner is a member of the soccer, indoor track, and frisbee teams. I'd like to congratulate Bobby Molloy on being the 2020 Greenway Pride Award winner. Congratulations, Bobby. Bobby Malloy was a captain of the boys' soccer, indoor track, and ultimate frisbee teams. He was a Social League All-Star and an Enterprise All-Scholastic. Bobby was also named to the Eastern Massachusetts Boys' Soccer All-Star Team, as well as the All-State Frisbee Team. Bobby consistently set an example for his younger teammates to follow and excelled in all three sports during his Abington High School career. Our final Green Wave Pride Award goes to an individual who faced many unique challenges and overcame each of them to change the culture of our soccer program. Our final Green Wave Pride Award for the class of 2020 is presented to Zhao Andrade. Zhao Andrade was a key member of the boys' soccer team during his Abington High School career. Zhao was a dynamic player who led the team's growth throughout his time at Abington High School and specifically helped change the culture of Green Wave sports. He helped to create and improve the environment that increased participation and included a more diverse group of students in large part due to Zhao's leadership and charismatic personality. Our final award is the Athletic Department Award. We strive to create a culture of success and continued improvement in the classroom, athletic fields, and community. The Athletic Department Award recognizes those who not only achieve their individual successes, but do it with humility, grace, and class, all while making those around them better. This year's Athletic Department Awards are presented to Cam Kearney and Lauren Keller. Cam Kearney and Lauren Kelleher are two of the most accomplished student athletes in Abington High School history. With multiple Social League All-Star, Enterprise All-Scholastic, and Boston Herald and Boston Globe All-Scholastic selections. And they shared a total of three state championships during their Green Wave career, along with multiple Social League championships and self-sectional championships. Cam Kearney and Lauren Kelleher were consistently ranked at the top of their academic class. They excelled in leadership positions and they are extremely valuable partners in the development and the promotion of the overall Green Wave athletic programs and school community. Both Cam and Lauren were named as the Social League Scholar Athlete Award winners. They challenged themselves, their teammates, and their coaches to achieve and succeed at higher levels. Their humility and grace, paired with their remarkable achievements in the classroom and on the athletic fields, are unmatched and will leave a long-lasting legacy at Abington High School. Congratulations to Cam Kearney and Lauren Kelleher.
As the award show comes to a close, and with it, the careers of the class of 2020, I want to say thank you. Thank you to our coaches, teachers, and parents who support the student athletes. I'm inspired every day by the actions of the adults and the examples you set for the children. Your willingness to sacrifice for them is something that they notice and through many conversations have made clear that they appreciate. I would also be remiss if I did not thank the administration at Abington High School. From the school committee, to the superintendent's office, all the way to the main office here at Abington High School, our students and community are lucky to have an administration that understands the value of educational athletics and has consistently supported our athletic program. As Ms. Luco departs Abington High School, I would like to thank her for her consistent support and impartial lens that has helped advance our athletic program. And to Dr. Sullivan, as she retires, thank you. There has been no greater advocate for equity and fairness in athletics and education as a whole during my time at Abington. You made us all better. And finally, thank you to the class of 2020. Thank you for the many championships and exciting moments. You brought this community together for good countless times. You are the good we need in this world. Continue to bring people together and be the teammates you have always been as you leave Abington and face new challenges. Remember, we can always be better. See something.